in this uh, click you end we do have a connectivity plugin called database connectivity plugin called oily db now what is oily db oily db is uh, called object linking and embedding database so this is the provider we can say or a plugin we can say in the uh, uh, you know click you through which we can connect to any database we also do have another plugin called odbc now what is what is odbc object database connection so we do have two different mode or approach of connection through which we can connect to any database i would like to show both the connection type so that you can just be able to connect to database first of all i would like to show oledb it is a very simple connect i will have a different uh, database providers as you can see oledb providers now what is a provider provider is a kind of plug through which a connection being established between clickview and a third party database okay so if clickview is a tool for a uh, clickview every database like sql server oracle db2 excel are considered to be third party database so to connect any database we have to select this oledb provider now i'm just choosing this sql server native client so whenever you install any database along with the database you would find the provider would also have been installed in your local machine suppose my database is local and it is installed in a remote machine but only i need a connection of the oracle database from my local system so in that case i do not need to connect i do not need to install the oracle database in my system rather i can install a small plugin or provider in my local system through which i can make a connection to oracle so this is a small software it is a different from sql server it is a, just a small software through which you can connect to sql server now select new here it is asking for the server name of course i have to give the local host as i said in case your database is in a remote machine you have to give the ip address so it is asking for username i have given the username as this and password i have to give now i can choose that allow saving password so here before you load this table you can just uh, test the connection connection succeeded if there is a case that i give you a password correctly suppose knowingly i will give a wrong password then it will throw error like this it will not say your password is incorrect rather it will say login failed for user sa So password succeeded i have to get the tables from the db which is listed over here so all the dbs are being listed in the click you end i have to choose this so click next okay so when you just select connection uh, mode as oledb the entire connection string is written on your code environment this code window so it is showing the initial catalog which is a database as order db user id is sa server is this and the connection string will be written on this 
so this is one way so now the next approach is to connect to database so since we have connected i need to fetch to uh, the tables to click you Now you see uh, inside this uh, in the order DB, I do have all the tables are listed over here. So when I'm selecting any table, if you'll give star, then it will drag the string connection string or the script to fetch the table. Select star from table. Which is normally written in the sql but in click view the slight difference is it automatically add sql before this string before this script so that it will be identified as a sql script you can also choose a specific fields instead of entire uh, you know columns if you don't want to do that you can simply use a star so that entire tables data will be loaded now click on ok let's see this uh, table is selected now see let's time it's time to load the table to our in memory so we can just save this and debug if you debug, then we have to click on a run so that our debugger will be executed line by line. So there is no issue since that and the script is finished. Click and close. By default, the load has been uh, the table has been loaded so i did not have to click the reload once again so now let us press ctrl plus t if you see ctrl t you will see this uh, table in my internal table viewer and you can give you data also so guys, the way I shown you the connectivity is one mode of connection through OLED DB. Now the second mode of connection I am going to show you is connect to SQL Server with ODBC. Okay. So I will just comment this. If I'll comment, then it will not fetch the data again. Now it will start throwing error. All right. Now it's time to load the data from ODBC. So choose this ODBC. Now, if you're clicking on ODBC before we connect, we have to uh, just go to the settings and create a user DNS. The, use the DSN for the SQL Server. So let's go to this control panel. In the control panel, we have a different folders. I have to go to the administrative tool. So let's say inside the control panel, I do have administrative tool in the administrative tool you do have odbc data source 32 bit and 64 bit so you have to choose odbc data source so 64 bit now here we have user dsn dsn means data source name so you have to create a specific user dsn for our sql server I just have to click on add. The same way I have to create a connectivity 
first of all i have to choose the provider sql server native client provider name and then connection name we have to give my and description is not mandatory server you can give local host okay my sql corn and the server name is local host and then next here it needs a windows authenticate uh, it needs uh, with windows integrated authentication or a sql server authentication you can give sql server authentication If it is your local machine, you can also give Windows authentication. Next. So since it is Windows authentication, it is a local machine. But if it is a remote machine, you have to definitely give the user ID and password of the remote machine. Because in that case, Windows authentication would not work. Change the default database to whatever the database you want. Say I selected order DB. So these are all not mandatory. Finish. Test the connection. The connection is completed successfully. Now my local uh, user DSN is created called my SQL con. Okay, that's it. So from the control panel side, you have to come to the administrative tool and then odbc data sources and here you have to create a one data source name that's it okay fine now here in this uh, part i have to connect to odbc and then connect use it is uh, you can just choose so user dsns so when i've selected so user dsn i do got this my sql con i have clicked it since it is windows authentication it does not require any user id and password by default it is authenticated from my local machine from my admin user so it is created and then i have to select it so you need to check if the tables are either is perfect then you can be able to connect to database so i'm able to connect to database now then guys you tell me that what is the preferred way of connection as per your perspective i feel odbc is better because odbc is more secure it does not allow anything to be right on this code window it only has the my sql connection which is a dsn name apart from that nothing is there on this window but in OLDB, the entire connection string with some of your database credentials will be written on the code. Okay. So for me, I prefer ODBC, but there are also two mode of connections. 